Okay, let's try this again. Uh, I'm here in my apartment and I've got Wi-Fi signal turned on, but for some reason Facebook still uh, kicked me off due to low signal. I'm not really sure what's going on, but I'm going to pick up where I left off and later I'll connect the two videos and post it up as a, as a single video. So I left off with saying that um, I've noticed in my car whenever I'm driving, you know, and I'm talking to people or with, you know, just outside in the world, okay, anywhere. As you're talking with people and as I begin to talk more about myself and it's only me, 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 and it's only what, you know, and I've noticed that people do this as well. Other people tend to shut off, you know, because it's all about you, right? Um, whenever that happens, has, has that ever happened to anybody, you know, where you just, you talk and talk and talk about yourself, the me monster comes out, right? And then everybody shuts off. Has anybody noticed that? Drop a one in the comments below if, if you've noticed that about yourself. What's going on, JR? Sorry, we got cut off. So what I've noticed whenever that happens is I change the subject. I start asking questions about them. You know, I say, well, enough about me. What do you do? Where are you from? You know, what kind of, what kind of work do you do? Uh, do you have family? Do you have a wife and kids? How old are your kids? What do you do for work? How long have you been doing that? You know, you must really love it. Oh man, you don't really love it. What's going on? You know, what do you not like about it? What do you like about it? Those kind of things. I'm learning about somebody. You know, I even ask, one of my favorite questions is, what do you like to do whenever you're not working? Because then it begins, it starts to get people, it changes up people's pattern thoughts. Because so many people these days are just so focused on work and work and work. But what do you do whenever you're, when it, what, what do you like to do whenever you're not working? What's going on, Pam? How you doing? Stop and think about that for a minute. <laughs> it's good to, to live while you live, right? Live while you live. Don't forget to, to enjoy the little things in life, to go after the things that you're passionate for. So with all of that being said, start talking about the other person. Get the other person to talk, okay? That means you're the one asking questions. And you'll notice that as you ask more questions, they will begin to talk and they'll open up, they'll brighten up, they'll smile. And at the end of that conversation, they'll say that that was one of the best conversations that, that, that they've ever had. And that will immediately create a friend in you, okay? So I really encourage you to give that a try. My, my, my tip number two, what's going on, Anna? How are you doing? Good to see you on here. I'm going over some good stuff today, Anna. You're gonna love this. So principle number two, the first one, let's go over the first one again, become genuinely interested in other people. All right, tip number two, remember to smile. <laughs> a smile can go a long way, all right? People can even feel your smile over the phone. And it's like yawning. Have you ever yawned and you know everybody else around you starts to yawn? It's very contagious. I'm almost thinking about yawning right now. <laughs> How many of you just yawned? <laughs> so smiling is like yawning. It's very contagious, okay? It's kind of like whenever you're sad or depressed, it's very contagious, okay? So be the light in the room. Be the light with your smile, with your personality. Number three, remember that a person's name is to that person the sweetest and most important sound in any language, all right? I encourage you to develop the skill of remembering people's names, okay? And it really is a skill because there are so many people out there that do not remember people's names, okay? And how many of you have to make a conscious thought to, to remember somebody's name, otherwise you just forget? I'm like that. I'll be the first to admit it. And uh, there are several ways that you can go about to remember people's names. I'm not going to go over all of them, but one of them is as soon as you meet that person and you learn their name, you use their name two or three times in the next in the next conversation, the next few minutes, just to solidify that sound coming out of your mouth and associating it with that person. Okay, so like let's just say that you know your name is John. Hi, my name is David, and we talk. So w w what's your life look like, John? What do you what do you love to do? You know they answer. Uh, that's awesome. That's awesome to hear that, John. I uh, I totally respect that. What kind of what kind of work do you like to do? What do you like to do whenever you're not at work, John? <laughs> Tell me about your family, okay? That kind of stuff. That will really help solidify that person's name in your mind, okay? Number four, be a good listener, all right? After you start talking with that person, you start asking questions, listen. <laughs> and don't just listen with your ears. Listen with your eyes, okay? Listen with your eyes. That's a very powerful key. Um, the second part of this principle is to encourage others to talk about themselves, all right? Man, I'm going over some good stuff right here. If you begin to apply these principles, your life will change. It will turn around, I promise you, I guarantee it. Number five, talk in terms of the other person's interests, okay? 
So if you start talking about the other person's interests, ideas begin to be created, okay? You can help that person now talking about and developing ideas and strategies on how you can help them to get what they want out of life, all right? That's huge, and it's huge especially in the area of sales, okay? If you're doing it right, you're not even going to come across as a salesman. You're going to come across as a consultant, somebody that's trying to help somebody. That's all that it is, okay? So that's number five. Number six is make the other person feel important and do it sincerely, all right? Make the other person feel important. So that can come along with being a good listener, okay? Listening to the answers that they give you and then making them feel important about it. You know, maybe giving them, a, giving them a compliment, letting them know how special that is, letting them know that, that, that you think that's a cool idea, that you love what they're into, okay? Yeah, give me some hearts, give me some likes, punch that like button. If you, if you feel like this is giving you some value today, or if you like what I'm saying, if you love what I'm saying, punch that heart button. If you feel like this is really giving you some value, um, let me know. Drop a two in the comment section if this is giving you value. Actually, just drop value and even click that share button, okay? Click that share button for somebody that you um, sh you know feel like needs to hear this message. Okay, of course we always uh, we need to develop ourselves first before we develop others. But I encourage you share it with share it with your whole network on your wall because it'll actually reach hundreds and possibly thousands of more people that way. So if you give it a share um, right here, type share and I'll call your name out first and last name just as a way to say thank you. So I'm going to run over these six principles real quick just as a review to help solidify it. Number one is to become genuinely interested in other people. Number two is to smile. Number three is to remember that a person's name is the sweetest sound to that person. Number four is to be a good listener. Number five is to talk in terms of the other person's interests. And number six is to make the other person feel important. All right, so guys, that's my tip for today. This, if you, if you apply these principles, it will radically change your life. And just like it has for me, I mean, I, you, you never want to eat alone. Okay. Unless if you're okay with being the lonely cat lady, right <laughs> at the age of 65 or 70, if that's, if that's your mojo, then, then more power to you. But for those of us that, that enjoy, you know, relationships and that want to go really far in life, I really encourage you to, um, apply these principles because it'll just open the world to you. For those that are good at talking with people and making relationships, the world is yours, all right? And remember this saying, it's not just about who you know, it's about who knows you, okay? So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Punch that like button again, punch that heart button. Give me some hearts, give me some love. Share this video out to as many people as you can. I, I wanna help as many people as I can. Uh, I want to give you guys something of value. So I really hope that this helped you out in your life. And let me know that if this helped you. Start applying these principles. And in a couple of days, come back. Like let's just say Saturday. Apply these principles between now and Saturday. And come back here on my video. And, and, and reply in the comments some of the things that you found. Okay. If you're watching this after Saturday, then give yourself one week. All right, one week to apply these principles and let me know how it's working for you. And I really appreciate you watching this video and I really hope that these tips help you move forward in life. And my name is David Lamro. Let me know where you're watching from. Hashtag much love. So love you guys. Y'all take care. Have a great rest of your Wednesday. Bye now.